What are we doing today, little buddy? We're getting an old guardian dog. That's right. Little Buddy and I made the trip over to Wallace, Idaho, which is not far from the Montana state line. The dog breeder from whom we're getting our livestock guardian dog is coming from Billings, Montana, which is pretty far away. We came out to Wallace to help reduce his trip length a little bit. We're waiting in a parking lot at a truck stop. It's kind of a chilly, rainy day, kind of not fun out. So while we're waiting, we can tell you about the dog we're getting. Little Buddy, do you remember its name? Ooh. Blue, and it's a boy or girl? Mm, boy. Boy. Do you remember what kind of dog he is? No. Blue is an Akbash. He's six years old. He was the breeder's stud dog for a long time. Oh, oh, oh. Breeder's calling. Breeder's here. Should I have gotten a choker collar like that? I got just a nylon no, one. Oh, I just use this for moving them around and uh, did you get a collar? I did. Okay. But it's nylon. That's fine. Okay. I hope it's big enough. I got it, it was 26 inches, the biggest one they had. <laughs> yeah, you know, I tried to put one on him yesterday and it was a little tight. So this is blue. And you'll notice the blood on him, and the reason the blood is there is because him and another dog had killed a fox yesterday. And he was doing his job. Last day on the job in Montana. <laughs> so awesome. Now he's coming to Idaho. That's right. Can you pet him? He's a nice dog. He loves little boys. He loves little boys. Yeah, you're a good little boy. <laughs> Wonderful. Buddy. It'll take a couple of days of the interaction like this. Um, you know, he's a big dog, and uh, he's had a pretty good pasture to run in. He's had maybe 10 acres. Um, you're a little smaller than that, where he's going to go from pen to pen. Uh, but he'll be fine. Do you smell sheep? <laughs> they just wouldn't. Just not big enough. Oh, this is fun. This is gonna be good. Yeah. The cow makes it to the rock. Did he daddy? That's what the cow is No, it's it's not for looks, it's for control. So that's probably good enough as long as uh, you're not gonna tie him up to where he can slip it. Okay. Yeah, blue collar for blue. Wow, that is a big dog. Blue is awesome. What do you think, little buddy? Do you like him? Nice. He's nice? Yeah. Well, let's get him home. We'll get him fed and introduce him to the sheep. We just got back to the homestead with Blue. I have some food and water here for him, and then we're gonna get him integrated right in with the sheep. I just remember, before bringing him in with the sheep, I need to get Penny out of the sheep so there's no conflict between the two of them.
Even though Penny doesn't really use the shelter, she stays out in the rain. She doesn't seem to mind it. She's from the Andes, or at least her species is. I left up this oversized pig shelter for her just in case she needs it. There's some real dramatic inclement weather. She has somewhere to go. When we get the pigs here, I'll probably move Penny out of here back to with the sheep. By then, the dog should be well adjusted. And then we'll fix that shelter to be more appropriate size for her pigs. All right, little buddy, I think we're ready to get blue. What do you think? Hmm, be nice. You ready? Are you girls ready to meet your new livestock guardian dog? What was that, Veronica? I don't think they're going to be too excited about this, at least at first. All right, Blue. This is it, buddy. This is it. All right, come on, buddy. Okay, you ready? There you go. Are they afraid? And Penny doesn't seem to mind right now because she has some fresh greens she's chowing down on. Because she's hungry. Not hungry, buddy? Are you sure you're not hungry? Penny's gonna try and eat your food, Blue. You better eat it first. What do you think, Penny? Yeah, you just want his food. Blue's acting a little scared. hes I know this is a lot to take in for him. It was a big change, but I wasn't expecting him to be a little timid about this. I guess it's better that he's a little timid than over anxious. Blue, may I introduce you to Penny's toilet? That is a lot of llama dung. because he doesn't know who, who they are, right? Right, and they're scared of him. Because he... Oh, why did that one stop? Did he? Oh, he's lying down. I guess they're getting over their anxiety a little bit here. They're whoa. You scared them. Gotta move slow, Blue. They're a little skittish. Blue's been here for a few hours now and he's settling right in. He's getting comfortable around the sheep. The sheep, as you can see behind me, are comfortable with him now. They're eating right next to him. I'm really glad Blue is so calm. It's made this transition really easy, especially on the sheep. He's so calm and quiet and relaxed that they have gotten really comfortable around him. He's not running around. He's not causing a ruckus, anything like that. So it's really no disturbance for the sheep. It's really cool and exciting to have Blue here. I think he's gonna be great addition here to the homestead. It's a real comfort knowing that he's gonna be out here protecting the sheep.